So I'm here with Mike and Stephanie from uh, Van Life Sheldon's Travels. They've been living for the past year out of this ProMaster city here, and they've got a really cool conversion, so we wanted to show it to you guys. So we're gonna take a look at the outside first and then take a look on the inside. So Mike, you wanna show us around? Yeah, start off in the front here. I did put a little push bar up in the front. It's tiny just so we can uh, add a couple light bars here after we get in towards site. Got a rain deflectors. Cameras up top in all four corners. 200 watts of solar up top. I installed these boxes with a railing system here to, for storage. This is our TV antenna. It has a 120 uh, mile range and can be rotated remotely from inside so you no longer have to get out in the cold and actually, uh, you know, move the antenna around. Both corners have two LED lights, 72 watts apiece. This box actually holds our screen room that attaches to our ARB awning that extends out about, um, I think it's eight foot by four foot, eight foot tall. And we basically have the same thing on here on the other side with the boxes, another camera. We have a camera in the front facing forward and to the rear, which gives us 360 degree coverage. I have a monitor in the front so that I can see everything while I'm driving. I also have a monitor in the back that records everything on a little SIM card and remotely goes to my phone if I need to check on the van somewhere else. So I really like what you did here with the, uh, I guess it's with a tent, right? You used the tent to make a screen? Yeah, actually, uh, Steph had an old tent and I just cut it up and put it on here. I taped it on the inside. I took all the panels off all the way around, used big, uh, wide con um, cardboard tape, taped it all down. Uh, you can open the screen. There's actually even another screen for like the tent. I plan on buying a new tent and if I find one at a yard sale or something and redesigning it. And I'd like to have this same setup on the back doors. Yep. And so finding a tent that I can buy that I could use the sides and the back is what I'm looking for. That's not $200 because I feel bad if I cut up a $200 tent just to tape it to the side of the van. <laughs> so now that we've taken a look at the outside, Stephanie is going to show us inside the van. All right, let's check it out. So welcome to our humble abode. We're gonna start off in our kitchen area, as you would call it. So this is our sink, which works off a water pump, and then there's seven gallons under there, and we have a gallon and a half underneath. This is our oven, which works off a one gallon propane, which is actually stored right here next to our fridge. Of course, above the oven, we have all of our like coffees, teas, granola bars, um, instant food, sugars, like kitchen accessories. So up top is our surveillance, and then next is our TV. Our TV is actually a 24 inch internet smart TV. Um, it actually, we can watch YouTube, Amazon, Prime, all of that right on our TV. And it actually hooks very well into this 120 mile antenna. And then kind of behind that for safety, we have our fire extinguisher and get that on the way out. And then right here is our toilet so that we don't have to go inside any place. So one of the things that I really like about their setup here is that they have all this open floor space inside. Yesterday we actually just kind of hung out in here for a couple of hours and, and it was like kind of easy for them to like have people over. They could have, they said they had a couple of people in here before to like have dinner and hang out. So I really like that, but it also makes you wonder what you guys do for storage. To answer Nate's question, we actually have a lot of storage in this, in this van. We've used all the little crevices to actually store things. We've actually put a lot of uh, canned storage on the side. We actually have real silverware in, the, in this drawer. A junk drawer like everyone has. A little electronics drawer. But underneath the bed, we actually have all, most of our storage. We keep our two shower bags, 
our electronics box with our, all our school laptops, Sheldon's bed, our clothes, and behind in this little crevice here is four Optimum Deep Cycle Marine batteries with 55 amp hours a piece and my fuse panel and all of my wirings under the bed. This kind of gives you a, a little small look of how the bed actually works. You can see it kind of pulls up and extends out when it's open. We'll show you how that works a little bit better, but this kind of gives you a little underneath the, the bed view. Well, I know it. this bed system looks a little complicated, but if you didn't notice, it took less than a minute to set this up and we she can actually be sitting where Nate's sitting on the toilet and we can both be in the van while I set this up. It was really great getting the chance to hang out with Mike and Stephanie the past couple of days here in New Orleans. They've got one of the best compact cargo van conversions that I've that I've ever seen. I mean, between all that space in there to be able to kind of hang out and like entertain guests with the table in the middle and then the oven and their sink set up and then their power supply and everything else that they've done with it. It's just it's very very impressive and it was really neat to be able to see it up close and personal. They've been living full time out of that Promaster city for the past year now. Now they've traveled all up and down the east coast of the United States and before that they were living out of a Kia Soul that they had a custom camper car built into and they've got videos on all this stuff on their YouTube channel. It's Van Life, Sheldon's Travels. I'll put a link in the description below like I said and then I'll put one at the end of this video so that you guys can find their channel. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all in the next one.